Thinking about applying for the Young and Free St. Louis Spokester role? The biggest part of the application is the video part of it, and it can be a little scary if you're new to this. And that's totally okay if you are. But it's not necessarily as huge and scary as you may think. Here are some quick tips for making your application video. First, the most important thing in all of this, more than any sound effects or transitions or weird angles, is you. Your real personality and energy is a really big part of this job, so we wanna see what you got. You don't need to like script it out necessarily, but do take some time to think about your story and how you can convey the most best you in about a minute. The next thing you need for a video, of course, is a camera, but you don't need like all of this. I actually just got this. I haven't even used it yet. But use your resources. I had to borrow a camera from a friend that I had on Twitter that I hadn't even met in real life yet, and it was just one of those little flip cams. You can even use your smartphone now and actually get pretty great quality as long as you mind these next couple of points. Next thing is to pay attention to your lighting. Your best bet is natural light from outside. Even better if it's a cloudy day. But you can use lights inside your house too. I just recommend making sure you're not so bright, you're all washed out or squinting through your video but also not a creepy, shadowy figure. Or making your camera all grainy as it tries to adjust to low lights. Next thing is your sound. I mentioned smartphones before, and they can do a darn good job, but you have to be in a pretty quiet place and fairly close to your camera. Try to avoid wind, traffic, groups of people. Even a coffee shop can end up being too loud for a little camera. The truck is so loud. Go away, truck! If you're in doubt, test it out. Play back a couple of test recordings while you're shooting, just to be sure. Ugh, that's terrible. The final part of this is editing. You don't need to sit down and tell your whole story in one take perfectly, and in fact, the result is a more interesting video if you do different shots that you can then piece together in editing. There are actually some pretty cool free tools available for you to edit your video. The first big one is YouTube. It has about all the simple tools you really need to get started with a video like this, but for a few more features, you can also use Windows Movie Maker on a PC or iMovie on a Mac, including an iPhone or an iPad. Finally, save your project in a format compatible with YouTube if you're not just editing right on YouTube. Upload your video and then add the link to it on your application. It still takes some time, but the actual steps involved aren't so bad, are they? You have about a week left to get this together, to write your sample blog entry, and to fill out your application on our website, so you better get her done! I'll see you soon, guys. Keep rocking.